Ein Hallo zu einem weiteren hardware video Wir sind auf der Computex und wir haben einen Termin mit Patriot im Hintergrund. Sieht man den Stand schon und mit Shannon treffen wir uns. Viel Spaß beim Zuschauen. Yeah, hi Shannon. Nice to meet you. Hi Dennis. Um, we are here on the Patriot booth, and you want to show us the yeah highlights of this year's Computex. So uh, we have here at first the DDF5 memory from Patriot, just got finalists at the European Hardware Awards. So can you tell me a little bit about the new products? Yeah, of course. Well, first we have the Extreme 5. That right now is available in RGB and non-RGB very soon. Mm -hmm. Goes up to about 8,000 megatransfers a second. So one of our fastest, highest performant memory we've ever created. Mm -hmm. And just as a sneak peek for some of you guys, we're already going to be pushing well past that with our non-RGB very soon. Mm -hmm. So okay. you guys will be seeing that very soon. Nice. Yeah. And as you said, it's a finalist at EHA for 2023. We're really proud of that. And you know, I'm really hoping that within the coming years, we're going to build upon that and create something even a little more crazy for you guys, just to kind of show it off. It does come in other speed bins as well. It comes in 7800 and 7600. Mm -hmm. But even at that speed, you're going to need a really good motherboard and a really good IMC to run it. Exactly. Because it's simply way too fast for like just your basic like four din motherboard. But we designed this more as a flagship product to show that some of the inter internal, internal enthusiasts here, like me, Johnny, or DRAM PM, we wanted to create something kind of crazy. This was kind mm -hmm. of our like Skunk Works or Black Ops project, just kind of showing what our capabilities are. And we're going to continue to push on that. Yeah. We do have other models, like for example, our Elite 5, which also comes in white. That is more your mainstream performance. This is a thing that will allow you to install in pretty much any motherboard, uh, not necessarily up to 7,000 with AMD. AM5 mm -hmm. is going to be a little mm -hmm. troublesome, but mm -hmm. up to like 6,200 for AMD Expo. And mm -hmm. that one will carry the torch for everyone that wants maybe an easier on the cost, mm -hmm. but still a very performant kit of RAM. Yeah. Whereas the Extreme 5 is for people looking to break records. Yeah, These exactly. are the guys looking to run liquid nitrogen, looking to run the most crazy tweaked setup. We designed this mm -hmm. to push the best of the best yeah. and to show you the limits of your system. Exactly. If you want to be sure that 100% the memory is not the limit, uh, then you go with the Extreme 5. Extreme 5 is yeah. pretty much the ticket. If you yeah. if you think you got a good IMC, we will definitely show you if you do. Perfect. Nice. But you also have a nice SSD, a new one. Oh, let's yeah. get over. Yeah, so now we are here at the SSD and of course it is a PCI Express 5 drive. So everybody's talking about PCI Express 5 SSDs now and you have well, the first sample, you said it's not 100% finished yet, but you're still working on it. Yeah, basically this is going to be one of the thinnest PCIe Gen 5 drives available mm -hmm. because we worked really hard on refining the heatsink design to make it so that it can be very low profile so that eventually as Gen 5 slots below GPUs, things like that exist, mm -hmm. all of these drives you see with massive coolers are going to have some problems. Mm -hmm. And not all motherboard heatsinks can actually support the thermal output on some of these yeah. drives. Mm -hmm. So we designed this one to make it so that it's thermally compliant has a good quality fan in it. That's one of the reasons it's not 100% complete yet, is we found some uh, degradation in like plastic quality, things like that. You know how thermal works with exactly. plastic. Yeah. You get plastic too hot, it becomes crystalline, it breaks down. So basically we are really optimizing the fan design. We have one of the closer to final versions in a board mm -hmm. they're running, mm -hmm. but these things run in an insanely high temperature thermal chamber, along with full, full performance for up to two days. And we will not validate it to actually be correct to be a paper viper, viper product unless it can sustain that. So yeah. therefore, without throttling, it has to be like over 50C thermal chamber and running full load 100% mm -hmm. for up to two days. Yeah, that's what you want in the end. Uh, you don't want throttling in your, in your PC, but then you can control the performance. Exactly. So and that's exactly what, what we are always saying, like wait a little bit longer, then there come some nice PCIe SSDs out and then it's not an issue anymore. That's why at CES we said like, hey, you know what? The initial 10K drives came out, mm -hmm. and we're like, we're not going to rush into this. We're not just going to mm -hmm. make a drive just to make it and say mm -hmm. we have Gen 5. We mm -hmm. showed a concept, one of the initial mm -hmm. Python concepts, but we've been working closely with them mm -hmm. and, all, and basically all of our manufacturing partners, along with internally building these drives ourselves. And we've been working to really optimize the heatsink design and mm -hmm. even change the cable. So now mm -hmm. we have a standard fan header mm -hmm. so that you have a much cleaner aesthetic for a build. You mm -hmm. don't have a big chonky fa uh, fan mm -hmm. cable. And it's gonna, mm -hmm. you're also going to be able to adapt it if you need to, to a SATA cable or what have you, yeah. to mm -hmm. make it whatever you want it to run. The only thing I'd advise is if anyone ever buys this and hooks it to a motherboard, don't mm -hmm. turn the fan down unless you're monitoring mm -hmm. temperatures because if exactly. you turn it way down, that could be a problem. Yeah. But mm -hmm. otherwise, this thing will basically fit under 
GPUs or anything else, mm -hmm. stay cool. No thermal mm -hmm. throttling, 12.4 gigabytes a second, and that's for read. Uh, write is over 11,000, mm -hmm. 11,000 megabytes or 11 point like six gigabytes mm -hmm. on uh, sequential writes. This thing will just be an absolute monster for everything from direct storage to everything, you name it. But even then, we have plenty, like we said when we were talking before, we have PCIe 4 drives for those that maybe aren't looking for PCIe 5 or maybe the platform doesn't support it. Mm -hmm. They can just as easily even adopt this one now. It's exactly. backward compatible or work in that slot, but this will basically be our flagship going forward. Mm -hmm. And with Viper, with Patriot, with Viper uh, Gaming, our, our performance brand, we really try to push to make sure we build the, not just a product, but the right product. And that's why we took so long to really get this one ready, because we wanted to launch a good product and not just a product that exists that says it's Gen 5. Yeah. We wanted to make something that's really, really awesome. I'm trying to be careful with language because I almost used a specific term mm -hmm. to describe it that was really awesome, mm -hmm. but let's mm -hmm. just say we're going to build a really awesome product. And it's, you guys are going to be super excited. I'll be getting, or you it's guys will be seeing it as soon as it's available. Perfect. Uh, we, of course, are happy to take a look at it once it's out. And if you want to read more about the products um, and, uh, of course, about the DDR4 5 memory, visit our website. There we have more information about the specifications. Perfect. Dennis, thank Thanks you for, for joining us, you. man. And, and see you thank soon. Thank you, guys.